Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Head Crack After Hours. This is a talented young lady who represents the ATL. She a young wolf. Is she here to let you know what she got moving? Literally. Ladies and gentlemen, one time for hey. Chapo. What's up? How you doing here, Craig? Thank you for having me. Yo, thank you for coming. Um, little backstory you know, for those who are watching this. I saw her recently at South by Southwest. And yeah. South by Southwest, you know, you went for your first time. Yeah. You will see no less than 200 people perform yeah. over the course of the weekend. And it's hard to stand out, you know, because there's not really like, they're whack people. <laughs> they're good people. But few people you lean back and be like, yo, I'm gonna look great. <laughs> and I felt that way when I saw you Thank perform you. on stage, yo. Like you Thank got a hell you. of a, a, a live show energy. Yeah, I, 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 I love to perform. It's just energy. I'm just having fun. Mm -hmm. If you have fun, then you, you, you know what I'm saying? And I could tell that you love having fun. Cause like, whether, you know, some people when they get there and if the crowd ain't like, just going crazy over them initially, they'll kind of like lose their intensity instantly. Yeah. But I watched you win that crowd over from record one. I can't remember if you started with Fuck It Up or another one of them other records, oh, yeah, yeah. but I watched you slowly win the crowd over. Cause first they're like, yo, what's she going to do? Everybody be staring. It'd be weird. It'd be weird, especially when I'm in a new place or a new spot and I know my wave is different. Mm -hmm. So when I perform, everybody just kind of like staring the whole way through. I'm like, well, when I get off the stage, they're like, oh no. Nah. Yeah. Now, I, I, I know that feeling oh too well. Because, like, you know, <laughs> it's it's ill being the unicorn at the horse show. You know, because yeah. everybody's used to hearing certain people rock in a certain pocket. Yeah. And now it's ill because you're seeing more female rappers come out than ever before. Yeah. I feel yeah. like maybe they've always been there, but, like, there are a lot more ones that you could rattle off the top of your head that's actually catching some waves. It is, it is opening up more because when I first started, it, it wasn't no Cardi B yet. So like when I first started, it was like you a girl rapping. Eh, I ain't, I ain't, ain't like that right now. Yeah. yeah, but now the same, you know, try to circle back. It's like I thought you ain't believe in girls, you know. But hey, the market's opening up for us, and we come. Okay, so originally from Atlanta. I'm from I'm from Smyrna. I'm from a cop. I'm a cop kind of girl. Yo, thank you for zeroing it in and, and, and representing that because yeah. like there's a lot of people like yo, I live in Atlanta and you live like I don't know like. Yeah. In an unzoned area like myself. Yeah, I'm a cop dude too. Not born and raised, but that's where I live right now. Mapleton gang. But <laughs> the... Uh, <laughs> Mapleton too? I mean, it's a lot of... All right, yeah, he, shout out to JY's he, in the building. <laughs> he's, you know, I'm a cop kind of girl, so I feel like I get a little exception. Like, mm. the Atlanta, Atlanta is like me, so it's not... They don't like Cobb County boys. I don't know that little rage they got going on. What's the them. difference? So, so people don't understand, don't know the different areas. What's the difference between a Cobb County dude and a, a Atlanta dude? Um, a, Atlanta dude, you know, they it's more so hood and, and the Cobb County is more so suburbs. But like what the hood don't understand is the suburb still has its, its hood. Yeah. Like, it's not just all handy dandy notebooks. So when they all meet, it's like, bro, you not gonna try me either, and you not gonna. But as far as girls, they be trying to get, they be trying to get us. Really? They feel like they, they can try, just, try to bag them sub suburban yeah, girls. Yeah, they just be like, hey, we can, we got you. You can't, you know, you with this lane. He a cock <laughs> county dude. Uh, Twenty one Savage then this then this all stale. Send him as a voicemail. He from Austin. Like, dang. Yeah, that's a lot of dirt to throw on, like, a whole, hey, like... Hey, we had some good artists come out. You had, you know, Yaki, Yachty come out. You know, K. Kent came out. Sorari came out. We have a lot of, you know, talent in it. It's a movement. Yeah. County. I think y'all should do, like, a, a Cobb County posse record just to let people know hey. that, like, yo, we, we out here. You know so what I'm saying? So you laughing? Yo, laughing. Because we got people songs. don't know. We got songs. Yo, it starts somewhere, right? Because look at Migos. They ain't really from Atlanta. Yeah. They from the north that north way. Side. See, the problem with Kyle County is the north side don't want to claim us. Mm -hmm. And the west side don't want to claim us. So we like a northwest kind of... Everybody want to hate. It's, it's okay. What school we you went to? Get hate. I, got, um, I went to Campbell. Yo, my son went to Campbell. Mm -hmm. But which is you graduate? I graduated in 11. Okay, so you're young, young. Like, you got, like, one of them weird, like, I'm not, when I say weird, like, you can't figure out, like, are you 18, 26 with good jeans and you moisturize? Like, you don't know what's going on. <laughs> so, like, work backwards through the math. You graduated in 2011. That's what's up. Yeah. Uh, man, Campbell yeah. Gang. Yeah, I balled there. I balled there. So, you use, like, on the team, like, varsity or JV? What? 
Man, I started varsity as a fresh. My jersey retired. Yeah. Does it say E Chapo in the back of the jersey? Hey, I need to put it up there. I need, need to put it up there. Make an amended amendment to the yeah. back of the jersey. <laughs> Have you been back to the school since you've been doing records just to kind of like, I don't know, do a little victory lap, let people know you out here and you um, from their neighborhood? I haven't performed there yet, but I still like train, you know, I referee. I still stay in the basketball community, but I, I'm i moving my way there. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. I've been talking to all the people that mm. came out of Cobb County. That's popping on a Cobb County run. So y'all probably see that. That's, see that. Man, that's like so commendable. Cause some people like they they run away, they never look back. Yeah. You know, like so when you were in school, were you popular? Yeah, I was the number one basketball player in the, in, the, in Georgia. So you just skating through. Yeah. They are giving you extra dessert, hey, yeah. lunch, Everything. and all that. Yeah, I come, go back, make my money while I was there, and got it. <laughs> hey, it was fun. It was fun. Real so experience. Were you rapping while you were at school? Yeah, I actually was rapping. I started rapping when I was in high school, and um. We bone crusher had got out of therapy and his daughter went to my school. Okay. So he heard about a couple of us and, you know, hey, come in. So we went to a couple of parties and then my dad um, actually went because we were still minors. And he was just like, hey, you got to choose this music or basketball. And I'm like, I'm number one right now. Like, (laughs) as a freshman, why am I about to quit basketball? Like, I'm on a whole. So... I was always around music. My brother DJ, my brother DJ with DJ Plug and all that. So I seen that wave as a little kid. Yeah, so you were surrounded by the best of both worlds, yeah. man. You can pick the basketball thing and like, because there's not too many female rappers that like. I mean, when I think about the landscape, because most people got fake booties and breasts, they're not really trying to like do damage on their new work. So like, <laughs> I can't even picture these people going up for a rebound. But yo, you short fast, like. Yeah. Is your playing style more like I don't know John Starks, or are you more like? It's more like a, like a Curry. So you you just shoot their lights out from well. I, I shoot, but he can also create. It's a difference. Like he can create a play, create a like Chris Paul too. Mm. I like Chris Paul. He creates a play, you know. So you got a whole lane you can run down. With. That is yeah, just yeah, hella yeah. impressive. <laughs> so when you're rapping in school, were you E Chapo back then? No, I was actually just E. Okay. Um, I kept I kept getting kicked out of every school I was in. What, what are you doing in college? Man, just always wrong place, wrong time, or just too much fun. They was trying to Jesse Smollett you. Like, yeah, you they, like they, they. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he got off. I was like, I that's couldn't what believe. Money, it. I couldn't believe it either. That's what money do. Yeah, and he have white too, so they kind of probably. See, and that and that was the weird conversation we was having today, right? Like, you know, if he got sentenced to forty eight years in prison, we'd be ready to flip the table over, light a couple things on fire, yeah, because he got to jail. He they they dropped the charges. Man, he only got off because he gay and half white. Yeah, and it's like, hey, man, you gotta celebrate these minor victories because, like, the thing is, yeah. the, the real issue is the fact that the legal system is messed up. Yeah, whether you black or you white, right? Like, for them to try to give him forty eight years that was, that was for beating time. himself up. It's a little adventurous. But you got to look at it from their ass point. Like, they, they aspect. They, they, we're trying to, anytime something racist happens to, you know, a Caucasian person, we blow it up. Mm-hmm. We blow it up. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now that they're showing it and him incriminating himself, it's like, oh, no, nah, we're going to blow this up. It's going to be humiliating. They, that's what they're doing to our community right now anyway. Yeah, I mean, I think the real answer is somewhere in just getting these crooked judges out of here because, yeah, there are a lot of, you know, like, you know, Caucasian and non-black offenders that get way less time yeah. for way worse crimes, and we, we really take it on the chin. So the fact that people are focusing more so on the fact that he got off and not the fact that they were really trying to throw 48 years at him. Yeah. It's like, yo, like you looking at the wrong argument. Like, apparently, like, the prosecutor and the judges need to, like, get replaced because there's, there's cops that have murdered kids in cold blood. They just, um, it was an accident. Yeah. When Walking life goes away. on. So messed up. So I'm glad none of that stuff is happening to you. Have you yeah. ever been arrested? Yeah. For what? Just minor things. Like, things as a minor or minor things? Um, things that are minor. 
<laughs> well, there's a lot of people who rap about being arrested, never been arrested. So like, if, nah, if you been, gonna sell it? I've been I've been arrested. Uh, I've been arrested for a uh, theft by receiving. They're trying to give me for a little bit more, but you know. So you had somebody who had to hook up somewhere, and then you like no, got no, no. Oh, but yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. Okay. So we got a live one in here. Yo, I was watching. Uh, I was watching one of your videos. I think it was one day, and I was like, "E Chapo seemed like a nice girl, but I'd have to set an alarm to make sure she didn't steal anything the next morning." Uh, no, that's not me. You gotta worry about you worry about some people around me. That's why you know I just gotta select on where I, where everyone goes when we go. Okay. How big is the circle right now? Uh. I got a you know a team and then a family, so okay. it's it's different. It's different levels to this, you know. Team usually be about business. Family yeah. be there for comfort. Yeah. Who's that dangerous family member that you like bringing them around? But damn it, man, it, it always goes down when they're around. Shh. They they sitting they sitting down right now. But Is it you? Nah nah oh. nah. Oh. They sitting down. Oh, like in, in the penalty yeah, box. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but you know, pray pray free on niggas. You know, okay. it's gonna get right. So let's right. talk about the music real quick. You dropped right. a brand new video today called Move In. Yep. The seeing the teasers on the gram. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, promo game proper. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a part hey. of a bigger uh, a bigger entree of yep. music that you drop? Because it's been about what? Like a year and a half, two years since your last project? Uh, no, no, no. I dropped, well, before that, um, I just dropped The Girl Next Door last October. So make sure y'all go get that because that's still fresh and popping and still going up. Um... And then also, uh, I I had dropped a single before called Benji Dance as well, which that song is busy. Yeah, yeah, that song is busy. yeah. I ain't even shot a visual for that. I'm just kind of waiting to put the right proper money behind it because the kids love it. Anywhere I take it, everybody loves it. It's fun. Yeah, I, I got some music that I haven't dropped that's personal and you know that speaks more about me. But right now, I feel like I, I'm in a fun mood in life, so. I, I drop fun things for everyone to relate to. Yo, and for those who are watching, if you ever see the E-Chapos coming to a city near you, go to the show. You're going to have a good time. <laughs> like, yeah. she is on stage having a good time, and that's going to sprinkle into your existence as well. Like, that's the goal. And that's the key, because, like, we need we need that escape. Yeah. And if my memory serves me correct, another thing that really made me like you, you were rapping live. You were not rapping over your vocals, were you? No, no, no. I was rap. See, this is how I do it. Um... You might feel that way because sometimes even though the song's going, mm. I'm not rapping the lyrics. Like it it might be I might start throwing my, I'm so in the mood that I'll start throwing another song. I'll throw another I'll start maybe freestyling. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it makes you feel like that. But um I, I rap with my, my vocals. You played it well. But I, I swear, like from what I can see, and like I said, I've seen a thousand live shows. You know, and I perform too. So when I saw you on stage, I'm like, yo, you have the energy and the charisma to you don't even just keep your ad libs on the track and just kill it. Like yeah. you got the energy in the car. There's some people right now that are like pre-diabetic, they're weighing 282 <laughs> pounds. Yeah, them niggas gonna need a hype man and they're like their whole vocal on yeah. the joint. But I, I I think you got the I think you got the ability to pull it off, yo. And hey, people, I'm gonna take that advice. People gonna remember that because you see so many people that like, let's just say if something goes wrong at the show, the record cut off. Yeah. And they just out there. Yeah. They don't know what to do. That. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? But if you a live performer, like, and you could really just crush it, whether the vocals is there or not, you know? Yeah. And you good. Like, maybe if you're doing a 30 city tour and, like, you know, by day 27, your, vo your voice is toast, maybe you use it as a factor. But, you know, nah, man, man, you better, better spread that, that shine you got on them people. Thank you, OG. Thank you. A lot, a lot of a lot of the older people in the game tell me that that takes you to a whole nother level as well. So. Yeah. Not all the people. Oh my she gosh. 2011, she, you, know you know what I'm saying? I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> she the youth them. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. I'm she had the internet saying. her whole life. The OGs. The OGs. <laughs> See, I could say I don't understand why why y'all get offended when I say old people, but then if I say OG, you feel a little bit better. It's the same. It's the same thing. It's a nicer way of saying, all right, pops, listen. <laughs> 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 no, but I respect because the thing is like, yo, a lot of us have lived, we have lived long enough to be able to like help people. Yeah. And like the whack thing to do would be just to like, eh, they'll figure it out. You know, like, like, yeah. you know, so when you see something that's great and you can help it or like just drop a couple gems in the air to be greater, 
you, you know, you want to do that because, like, as black people, that's what we got to do. Yeah. And true. beyond that, as people, that's what we got to do. If you see how you can help somebody elevate their game, whether they're in your field or not, like, oh, nah, 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 nah. now try this. Go for it. Good luck. You know? Yeah. That's what we're supposed to do because we're, we're not in competition with each other. We're in competition with the world Thanks. to Thanks. elevate the culture of hip hop. We want this still here in 30 years, right? Yeah. We want people to be able to like go to Vegas and and drop $185 a ticket to go see E Chapo in 2025, right? You ain't lying. It's what we want. <laughs> so like, you know, if everybody get their show on that level, we'll be all right. You, you know, lying. Janet Jackson, she a whisperer. She need them vocals. But, you know, some of us are a little <laughs> louder. Like, you know, like you go out there and blaze it up. So moving the video is out right now. Um, are you going on a, a road trip? You going like on a promotional tour to promote what you got going on or um, what? Um, I got a couple things in the work. I might go down and do a little run in Miami. Um, do a little con- uh, country run with the uh, Coalition DJs. So I, that's what I've been working on now. Uh, I got a big show at the Masquerades on the 17th. So, you know, just in the fourth. I got a couple things coming up. Ain't you better spell it out in case they see this before um, it happens. Uh, just make sure y'all tune into my Instagram page. I'm going I'm to post a lot. Get on that Twitter. I'm going to try to just keep everybody informed on what shows I have coming on. I promise you, come to a show. You're going to love it. Yes. You're going to love it. Are your parents still together? Yes. Mom and dad. Mom and dad. That is a rarity in I know. 2019. I know. Who is the most happy for everything that's going on in your life right now? Um, my parents are, are hustlers, you know what I'm saying? So they, they, they ain't really got a set job, but they always know how to bring in a lot of income just off different ways. So they just happy to see me hustling. Yeah. Like that's what my family's about. That's what we grow up on. That's what we thrive on. So, um, at first, you know, they were just kind of, they, they came, mm-hmm. uh, to support me some, you know, but now they're seeing it's real. Like, oh no, nah, this is. This is something that's really coming together. But they've always been supportive through my basketball. Whatever I choose to do, however I'm living, they just, you know, there for me and, hey, get that paper. Z, who's, like, so what's your mom's favorite song out of your catalog? I don't know. She get drunk. It be all of them. Like, I didn't (laughs) have to stop her from coming on stage. Yo. What? Oh, my God. Is your mom on Instagram? uh, Yeah, yeah. But she be, like, one of them. Weird people that don't got no profile picture. She oh. just, she just like, but she probably following you right now just because I posted you like. She might post a picture of like whatever she drinking that day or something. No, nothing. She just on there creeping, lurking, lurking. Your mom lurk Franklin. Hey, she know. Hey, I might get in the kitchen. She might TMZ me. Just start asking questions. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> That's dope. But hey, she watch it. She follow everybody. She know everything. Um, I got a little one year old nephew. He like the moving song. So. Okay. He, he be saying mo money, mo money, a hey, so. Wait, what's your dad's favorite song? I don't, he's really into the YouTube videos. He just watches a lot of YouTube videos. I think he likes, Um, I had dropped this little EP back last year around like June. So, and it uh, had. Wait, uh, 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 snack piece? Uh, not snack yes, piece. Yeah, 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 yeah. Four piece snack. Four piece snack. Four piece snack. And yeah, he on there. No, like, I became a fan. Yeah, the thank day I saw you. you rock. So like, I was like, let me get familiar, you know? That was more like bars type music it wasn't more of fun it had one fun song on there but he likes more of the lyrical side gotcha. of music my mom likes more of my party side of music so it's two different things she liked to banjo dance and, you know everybody likes everything that's dope that they like invested into what you do yeah the fact that like you know you're a product of a two parent household that allowed you to like chase your dreams yeah because there's some yeah. people like you know their parents will shoot them down like yo that ain't never gonna work and either that drives them to be greater at what they're aspiring to do or it like completely makes them shut down yeah and they quit so that's that's love right there yeah cool that's so love. if you removed music from your life right now are you playing in the WNBA? Uh, I kept getting kicked out, so I kind of like did it. That, and I had got hurt really, really bad. Really, would but you? Would you tore something? I tore everything in my leg. I went up. I was just being too much, and went up against like a six, seven girl. Cause we was playing. I was playing D one, so just came down wrong. My leg falls. That's the worst. I came back, but just that wear and tear on your body. Mm-hmm. I just really wasn't into all that but right now shoot i'm a real estate agent uh i got a cleaning business um i ref i like the ref so i stay around the game and you're I literally couple- wearing stripes right now Not yeah <laughs> you're funny. so you're funny 
But um, you know, I get my little hustle on. You know what I'm saying? But I I got a lot of different incomes. I like doing a lot of different things. That's how they raise. They say me. you got to have several sources of income in order to like you know be the millionaire you want to be. So yeah. you well on your way. Hey. But I want to help people get to your music bag. So yes. Uh, people may be seeing this interview, maybe never saw any of the other videos. But they want to hear you rap. Okay, uh, I got okay. some headphones right over there. Uh, I'm just going to throw in a random beat. And uh, we're going to see how E. Chapo handles the take real quick. Right. Now, here's how it works. And I, and, I, and I always say this as a disclaimer. The way the take works is you get one take. Okay. If you mess up, you messed up forever. <laughs> if you nail it, you're immortalized and walls forever. And everybody's going to be like, damn, he chopped up great. No pressure. No pressure. I, I feel my heart being through the headphones. Man, huh? you used to play basketball against seven, two women. You know what I'm saying? This is nothing. This, this is what yes. you do. I saw you rap. I saw you rap publicly. This is what you do. You're about okay, to catch okay. an entire body in these rap streets right here. Uh, tell me if you hear yourself in the headphones real quick. Yo. Whoa, that was loud. Yo. I turned myself My weird. bad. Uh, my bad. Now, that was all on me. I got uh, Thor hands. It's crazy. All right, cool. So you hear yourself. I'm about to fire this yeah. beat up. My man start is rolling. This is the take. E. Chapo. About to get busy one time. And you can curse all you want. Oh. Edit game strong. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Y'all niggas stump from the fame. I made a play just the other day. I never walked out the same. Y'all nigga, y'all moved the wrong way. Bitch, stop being slaves. I got a boss up one day. Yeah, had to look both ways. Cause they slime in your face. But I'm back to this chase. I'm trying to bust out the bank. Working hard to get paid. I watch them watching the maze. We gon' always find a way. I'm having long and longer days. Head crack. Longer, longer. Longer, 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 longer days. Watching the day fly away Gas running through my brain Yeah, help me get through the day But sometimes yeah, I feel afraid But I never let it phase me When the day's kind of crazy I'ma still bust a bank, bitch Hell yeah, you can pay me Huh, yeah I didn't have a long day I'm trying to I'm trying to stuff out a cake on the plate Motivation is to fill up the safe Hell no, nah, I ain't hit no breaks Bitch, hell yeah, I'm busting the bank Yeah, go up, I'm getting the bank Hold on, two chain set, be fancy It's the feds watching, I just pulled me a deuce So I'm drip walking, I been up working So I be at it popping when I get that check Bitch, don't pocket you watch it, huh, you can never stop it I double up on profits, I got seven income so you know I got it, yeah <laughs> Ah, thank you, e thank you, thank you thank Genuine you. article, <laughs> slow clap for the raps Hey, it's a different little way for y'all folks Yo, and, a, and not only were you rhyming, you was pouring sauce a little bit The sauce was there, you made us with A1, you hit some, hey, some Worcestershire uh, Hey, that's all I try to do, bring a little different sauce to the game. I don't want to sound like everybody else. It's either something you're going to understand or something you're not. No you know doubt. what I'm saying? I make this shit for people who are going through what I'm going through. Like, I graduated college. You know what I'm saying? I hooped and went through that. You know what I'm saying? And I earned my respect through, you know, niggas know what I did out here. Even, even while I was going to school, like, hey, just because you making money and doing what you got to do, kids... Still go to school, like get that education because it shows you a process of life that you really need that to understand. You're a whole smart girl out here. Nah, mm -hmm. Not even smart girl, smart woman. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's E Chapo right there. Yeah. If people won't follow you, where do they go? Um, everything. E Chapo, E Chapo, E Chapo. I'm the girl next door. I'm, I'm just that girl next door. And make sure y'all go check out that moving video today. It just dropped. And, um, I love y'all. Thank you, Headcrack. This Thank is a blessing. You. Thank you, Jay Wise. Shout out to we. I got to bring you up here one day for a whole interview because you you put on a lot of people in the ATL. We gonna get to it though, no doubt, man. Eat chopper. Yeah. Much love to you. Check out that Dang. video, Headcrack After Hours. We ghost. Yeah.